that time Kavanagh couldn't repeat what he did a couple of moments ago but from both sides they have played a wonderful 25 minutes of football so far and it's intriguing stuff this time Alan Kirk goes long and the breaking ball is picked up by Tori Kassar feeds it into the space for Paul Carrigan away goes the speed merchant from Nemo Rangers taking on the challenge lays it back good play first Daniel Goulden deadly on the left O'Neill is good on left or right here he goes and there is another point for Callum O'Neill he is posing serious problems for Donegal two quick balls two points one on the left one on the right but once more it was Kerrigan who made the initial thrust that caused the problems created the openings not sure was it the gold was involved in the move as well but you must credit O'Neill with the quality of the score I think he might have got hurt in taking that kick but he has certainly been on fire throughout the, uh, the, certainly over the last couple of minutes and Colm O'Neill of course was captain of the Cork under 21 team that uh, defeated down back in 0-9 made his debut against Donegal three years ago wonderful footballer he scored one goal and 13 points in the championship so far. Add on two more here. He now has 115. Kick out from Paul Durkin. A oh, great catch by Neil Gallagher. Lays it off to Carl Lacey. Lacey heading towards the 20. He's steadying himself. He's now shooting and he's scoring. Lacey is the man that comes all the way from centre half back. Given any any sort of space, he will punish the opposition, and that's exactly what he did here. Well, sometimes Donegal are noted for having a slavish devotion to a certain system, but that time simplicity in essence. Kick out, feel from Gallagher, support from Lacey, to responsibility taken, one of a score. Six points each, six times level. Clever play by Kieran Sheehan. Knocking it back for is Graham Canty. Free is quickly taken by Michael Shields to Kieran Sheehan. Trying to lay it down for his Dinnick O'Connor. The layoff is to Sheehan with speed. Heading towards the 20. Here comes Sheehan. Steadies. Will it curl? Will it curl? It will. White flag raised in growth back for Kieran Sheehan's second point of this All-Ireland semi-final. Wonderful game of football between the Munster and Ulster champions. And as you said, a good kick out once again from Kirk out to the side and a fast movement of the ball up along the side, not going through the central ch uh, channel, so to speak. And Sheehan backed himself. Great score from a difficult angle. Now, Cork are in front by one. Kick out, punched away this time by Alan O'Connor. Not going to be beaten for the second time in a row by Neil Gallagher. Referee's whistle is blown for a foul on Kieran Sheehan. There's an extra few metres for descent. David Coldrick says, put a hold to your gallop. And the free now going to be taken just outside the Donegal 45 metre line. Yeah, Neil Gallagher has played a very good game in a very traditional way at midfield for Donegal. He's been fielding good ball, but that time in, in, over at the last kickout, there wasn't any Donegal player around him to pick up the, uh, the breaking ball. And he deserves a little bit more support. Aidan Walsh with the fray. Oh, he hits it perfectly, but it's left and wide. It had the legs, but not the accuracy. So Johnny Goal introducing David Walsh. So the player that's going off is Ryan Bradley. So Johnny Goal make a change in their half forward. Yes, and that has happened in every one of the Donegal Championship games this year where Ryan Bladley has been substituted. Now, in fairness, it was later on in the games he was substituted, but today he didn't seem to get into the game. Punched out in the middle of the field. Eventually comes to Rory Kavner. Lays it off as Leo McLuhan. Kavner did well. He was under pressure. Anthony Thompson has gone into the attack. Nice turn. Retaining control. Flicks it forward. Far as David Walsh. What about the sub? Stennis. Has a goal has a score sometimes substitutions just simply work and credit to Jim McGuinness and credit to David Walsh about 25 30 seconds into the game this happens given a bit of space created initially by Rory Kavner finished by David Walsh seven times they've been level seven points each Michael Shields Fintan Gould is in support 
needed the ball a little bit faster. Shields delays, now feeds Fintan Gould when he's being well marked. Goes back for Dunnick O'Connor. Has to go all the way for his midfield area to Kieran Sheehan. Not a good pass from Sheehan. Nicely picked up by Daniel Goulding. Has to go back and turn first body Kassar. Kieran Sheehan. Plenty of court players to his right. One of them is Aidan Walsh on the 45. Kicks it. And again, it's right and white. Aidan Walsh is a really good footballer, but at times you think his shooting is, is weak. Yeah, but that time it was interesting. They played the ball up along the left-hand side. They overloaded the far side with players. Got the ball out there, but Walsh had more room to run into that time than he realised. And that's two bad whites in a row. One from a free and one from, a, from open play from him. Four minutes to the break. It's been pulsating. It's been most interesting to watch. As the ball again comes for as Neil Gallagher. He was fouled by Alan O'Connor. And the free quickly taken by Mark McHugh. Should be Noel O'Leary's confident under the high ball. Gets it back first, Michael Shields and Potty Kassar. Owen Cadigan gets by the initial challenge. Looks and sees who's available. It's his captain, Graham Panty, who is surely fouled by Leo McClure. Aiden Watch. In the centre, Alan O'Connor. Getting it back for his Graham Panty. 32 years of age since July 9th. Comes for his Daniel Goulding. In the centre to Alan O'Connor. Paddy Kelly available. Mark McHugh coming in to challenge. Lays it off quickly for his Kieran Sheehan. David Walsh was the player that was challenging. Sheehan, under pressure, should be an easy ball for Paul Durkin, and it is. And he in turn feeds Anthony Thompson from the Nave Tunnel Club in Glenties. Look at that first statistic. Over 100, 100 passes, hand passes for Cork, just 30 for Donegal. What about foot passes? Cork 16, Donegal 70. In the centre, Rory Kavner. Carl Lacey coming to the Hogan stand side. Kavner going forward, he's already scored once. Let's it back first, Mac Fadden, but Noel O'Leary was waving, watching and delivering. Graham Canty trying to get away from the pressure. Paddy Kelly is back there in his own half back line. Michael Shields had the vision on the court to give it out first, Vinton Gould. And he comes away. Steps by that initial challenge and tackle again. Kieran Sheehan. Over first, Colm O'Neill, who's now going out around the midfield area. And he thought he'd have been better employed in around the goalposts. Sheehan, far as Paddy Kelly. Over the far side, it's Paddy Kassar. Cork retained possession. In the centre, Paddy Kelly. Harrigan wanted it short. Kelly getting a quick ball in for Dunnick O'Connor. Dunnick goal, backtracking. O'Connor. Possibly over carrying, but he lost it anyway. And now, what can Donegal produce in a fast counter attack? Breaking forward is Eamon McGee. Looking around at options. McFadden and Murphy up front. Here comes Carl Lacey. He's done it once already. Holds up the play, waiting for the reinforcements. Slips one through. Nice ball in. Far is Mark McHugh. Will he take his point? Yes, he will. Very good counter attack play by the Ulster champions. Donegal O'Connor losing the ball inside around the 20 metre line on the Donegal side. Donegal counter attack and it ends with a McHugh point. Yeah, McHugh, Leo McLoon's involvement in that was top drawer. Watch Mark McHugh just looked up to see could he slip it to McFadden. Did the right thing, took the score and puts Donegal into the lead coming into half time. And Marky, Marty, in every game they've played this year, with the exception of the Tyrone game, they've been ahead at half time. Well, they're heading to injury time. We've been told that one minute of injury time to be out at odd. It was fouling in the middle of the park. Going to be a free for four. Cody Kassar to Kerrigan. Gives it back for his Aiden Walsh. Here on Sheehan. Paddy Kelly calls for it. Gets the diagonal ball. Gets by Lacey. She's to bunch. Back first, Paddy Kassar. Spraying the ball over to the far over side towards Graham Canty. Canty waits for the challenge, then gives it back. Cork playing this lateral ball again, but sometimes 
infuriates their supporters and look at what has happened. They need to play a faster, incisive ball to their forwards. Dummy goal, counter-attack. Anthony Thompson goes for that left diagonal ball up towards McFadden and Murphy, knocked away this time by a court defence that so far has been able to cope with the high ball. It comes out for his Aidan Walsh. Over for Daniel Goulding. In the centre, Paul Kerrigan. Three Johnny Gold players chasing after him. One of them is David Walsh. Kerrigan changes direction, gives it inside to Finton Gold. Slips at the wrong moment, and again, Johnny Gold can counter it down. And away they come, the Ulster champions. Ball over to the far over side. Paddy McBrearty getting the better of Nola Leary. Still McBrearty waits for the arrival of his captain, Michael Murphy. Steadies. Here comes the attempt at a point, but it's left and wide. Disappointment felt all the way for his letter, Kenny. That was a lovely move with McHugh McBerty that time. McBerty peeled off delightfully and fed the ball to Michael Murphy, who will be disappointed not to have finished the half of the point. It's been a pulsating contest between the provincial champions of Munster and Ulster. The surprise choice of Daniel Gouldy and Kieran Sheehan was part of the tactical plan, but both teams have certainly performed. They've been level seven times in this first half. An intriguing contest, but at halftime, it's the Ulster champions that have their noses in front by one. Halftime scoring, Croke Park. Johnny Goal, eight points. Cork, seven points. Lots to talk about. Analysis coming up right after the break. Thank you very much, Michael. Uh, Johnny Goal have arrived back on the field. An interesting statistic from that first half. There were 15 scores, 11 from play, and only four frees. Uh, we think from our vantage point up here that it's Vinton Gould that's gone off. Uh, at half time and uh, we've, it's just been confirmed actually thank you very much and uh, it means that uh, number 20 when you see him is Pierce O'Neill and he's gone in centre half forward and uh, Paddy Kelly has gone back into a right half back position obviously to try and mark Mark McHugh so uh, just to confirm Pierce O'Neill in Finton Gould off and Paddy O'Neill gone back to right half back away we go second half underway and hopefully it'll be just as good as the first. Cork playing into that glaring sunshine in the second half. Paddy Kelly knocks it down up towards Kieran Sheehan. Carl Lacey is the player that's coming into challenge. Goes back outside for his uh, Graham Canty. Flicks it back for his Paddy Kelly, who started the process with that long ball in. Paul Kerrigan slipping one through. Nice ball. First, Kieran Sheehan lays it back. First, Daniel Goulding changes direction again and ends up with Graham Canty.